So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this next greater element. And today we are going to learn three different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end. Now let's see the third approach. So in the third approach, what we are going to do, we will be using a stack and we will also be using a hash map where we will store a pair, a pair in the form of smaller value and its next greater element. Okay. So in order to do that, what we will be doing, we will be traversing this nums2 from left to right. In this case, we are traversing this nums2 from left to right. Okay. So I will start from here. I will check. Is the stack empty? Yes, it is. So if the stack is empty, we don't need to do anything. We will simply push this element to my stack. Okay. Now I will move ahead. The current element is this. I will check. Is the stack empty? No, it's not. Is the topmost element of my stack is smaller than this element or not? And if the condition is true, it means for this element, for this one, this three is going to be the next greater element because we are traversing from left to right. So after one, we find three. So for this one, this three is going to be the next greater element, right? So for this one, this three is going to be the next greater element. So whenever we find a pair, we will immediately add it to our hash map like this. Okay. And we will pop that element. After doing this, we will add this current element to my stack. Now I have this four as a current element. I will check. Is the stack empty? No, it's not. Is the topmost element smaller than this element? Yes, it is. It means for this three, this four is going to be the next greater element. So we find a pair. So whenever we find a pair, we will immediately add it to our hash map. And after adding it to the hash map, we will pop this and we will add that current element to my stack. I will be having two as my current element. I will check. Is the stack empty? No, it's not. Then I will check. Is the topmost element smaller than the current element? This condition become false. So whenever the condition become false, we will not do anything. We will simply push that current element to my stack. It means whatever the current element we have for that current element, we don't have any next greater element exist in this nums2. Okay. Till now we find these two pairs. Now, whatever the elements that are remaining in stack for those element, there is no greater element exist. So we will pop them and we will add them to my hash map, this value and minus one, because for this four, there is no greater element exist. So we will add minus one. So we will be having finally four comma minus one and two comma minus one. And after storing all the pairs in this hash map, we will check what all values we are asked to find the next greater element for this four, this minus one is going to be the answer for this one this three is going to be the answer for this two this minus one is going to be the answer so the same thing we have done here in the code first we have taken a stack in which we will be maintaining the next greater elements and after that we have a hash map here and after that we are traversing nums2 from left to right okay and what we are doing we are checking if the stack is not empty and whatever the current element we have if the topmost element in the stack is lesser than the current element then we will pop that element and that element is the smaller one and the current element is the next greater to it. So we will add that pair in my hash map and uh, pushing that current element to my stack. And after completing this loop, whatever the elements that are remaining in this stack, we will add them in our hash map with the value minus one. And whatever the values we are asked for from this nums one, we will find their values in the hash map and, and store them in an answer array. Okay. And finally we will return the answer array. So that's how we can solve this question using a hash map and a stack. You can take a screenshot of this code and try to do dry run by your own and share this reel with your friends who are learning DSA. And I will see you in the next video.